time for our next pin video. Come on in. Let's go. Hello everybody, Larry here and welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pen. Always a pleasure to have you back visiting my channel and today I'm going to talk about the Cross Fountain Pen and uh, I'm going to show you what uh, the pen looks like and uh, talk a little bit what I like about the pen and uh, what I don't care uh, so much about the pen. Uh, as you all know that uh, I'm just now getting into the cross fountain pens and I I've just reviewed the uh, the Bailey and the Aventura fountain pen and I enjoyed those pens very much and uh, this is the uh, cross century chrome fountain pen this is the slim version and uh, I had the uh, 10 karat gold at one time back in the early 70s it was a ballpoint pen at the time and uh, I did like it. I can vaguely remember uh, how it felt in the hand because it's been decades ago. So uh, what do you say we get to the box and see what's in it and go from there? Okay, this is how the Cross uh, Century Chrome Fountain Pen came. It has this black sleeve. Nothing fancy going on, but still, it looks nice on the presentation. I like the the black with the kind of dark yellow kind of just coming out and say, here I am. And uh, that looks, here's cross on here and looks like a lion's head or the face of a lion looks like to me. If anybody knows different, please leave your comments below and let me know. I'm sure somebody will. So let's just take out the off the sleeve, and here you have the cross box. It's a uh, hard cardboard type uh, case. Nothing on the sides and on the bottom, nothing. But it also has the uh, yellow, bold yellow, maybe you can say, around the bottom of the box and we'll take off the top and before I take it out this is what it comes in uh, nothing under the lid of the box and uh, has a little bit it lies on and it does come uh, it does come secure in these little straps so it won't uh, go anywhere and this uh, layout it has two straps so if someone's buying the uh, the fountain pen and the mechanical pencil or a ballpoint pen rollerball pen and the mechanical pencil there's that other little slot for it to hold on there so it won't flop out so let's take out the pen and set that aside. Now what's cool about this little box is, and it feels great right here, like a little sponge covered up there. Uh, you just pull the little tab out and it flips open. That's kind of neat, isn't it? That's the first one I've seen of this type. And cross again. I like the black and the uh, yellow. That looks really nice. And we'll get to this in a minute. Here's the cross instructions, and I imagine the warranty. And so, in this little sleeve, we'll open it up, and what comes in this, and I was kind of surprised, because on the Bailey and the Aventura uh, cross pins, they didn't come like this. Not one, but you get two of the cartridges and they're bigger the uh, let me pull one of the other ones out to show you real quick these are the ones that came in the cross Bailey and uh, Aventura and this is how they stand up 
just like that. This is fatter, shorter, this is slimmer, and longer. So, and the color of this ink is going to be black, and I'm glad of that. Okay, so, like I mentioned in my previous video, video on the uh, Bailey and the Amphitura, I really did like the uh, cross black ink. So, I'm glad they came with black. The blue, I'm not crazy about. So, let's put all this aside for right now, and then we'll talk about the pen. Okay, here we have the pen. It is a chrome slim pen. My hands are small, so looks like it's going to be fine in my hand. So, uh, yep, this is this is feels okay in my hand. No no problems. Uh, yes, it is chrome and probably thinking, well, is it slippery? Uh, it can be. But so far, I, I, I'm not slipping on, on the, the pen. Uh, your basic uh, cross pen, it's got, the finial on top is black. I've seen some uh, cross finials that have a little, like a watt white dot on top and uh, then it has cross right up here on top and then it has cross again on the clip now what's really neat about this pen probably can't see it but there's lines that match the pen. They come on down. So it's not just your smooth silver, I mean smooth chrome pen. They've got that lines going on and it looks really cool on the pen. On the bottom of the pen, comes like into almost a point. And it's got some grooves down here, and there's a reason for that, and I'll get to that in a second. So, the clip. No problem. Going on your shirt and coming off. It'll stay secure. So that's a good thing, too. So far, I, I'm liking the pen. So, it's an unscrew and screw on cap, so let's unscrew it. There you go. And here's the cap. And really nothing else going on inside the cap. So let's go ahead and put, let's post it. And on this pin, those grooves in the cap come together and it screws on and it's secure. That's what I like about this pen. Kind of reminds me of the Nemo's pen. The one I have screws on. I like that on, on posting because, you know, for me, I like posting when possible. But if it will scratch up my pen or damage it, I won't do it. So here we go. In the hand, as you see, it fits very well. And uh, on the grip, it's also chrome. Is it slippery? It can be. If you sweat a lot, you probably get that slipping going on. The uh, where the cap screws on here in the bottom, the uh, the little ridges that it screws on. Can you feel it? Yeah, you can feel it when it's a step down right here. From the pin to the grip, that's where the cap screws on. There is that step down, and it's kind of uh, not sharp, but you can feel it. It's dull, 
and I'm doing this hard, and I'm not cutting myself. But uh, it, it won't hurt you, cut you, nothing like that. I mean, uh, unless you're just really picky and uh, don't like that. If you, if you don't like it, then I, I say stay away from it. But if that doesn't bother you, then uh, I'd say try it. So, uh, the grip is very narrow. And I haven't written with it yet, but I'm, I'm going to. Then I'll do an update review. I try to do an update review on all my pins. So that way, you guys will know how the pin is uh, performing. And uh, the nib, not a big nib. It has cross on it, and it's got... Uh, The, uh, I'm looking for the letter here. Bear with me. Interest. There it is, right there. On the side of the pen, there's the F for the fine. And, uh, the pen looks nice. It's a strack looking little nib. I mean, there's nothing, uh, to blow you away, but uh, the pen was like $34, so still it's a, uh, a, a decent pen, in my opinion. Uh, so, uh, what do you say we open it up? It doesn't come with the converter, and I'll have to check and see about getting a converter with this. One thing, let me just show you here and share. Let's uh, compare nibs. Yeah, they look exactly the same as the uh, Bailey or the Aventura does. Exactly. So, what do you say? Uh, go ahead and stick this cartridge in and uh, see how this pen will perform. This is the Cross Century fountain pen. And uh, let me just get things started here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be nice. That's going to be nice. So, let me grab some paper. I'm going to use some uh, Clairefontaine paper, a notepad, and this is a uh, 90G's on the paper. Clairefontaine is some, some good quality fountain pen paper. So, here's what I'm going to do first time for you guys, as well as for me, to write with this pen. So, here we go. I like it. As you see, there's no skips or bad starts or nothing. And this is a cross. Century. Chrome. And I'm going to put slim in, if you don't mind. Fountain pen. I do love this ink. Why? I don't know. Maybe you might have some input why I'm per particularly drawn to this black ink. Check for wetness. It's not extremely wet, but it's wet enough. 
it'll work for me. That's not a bad witness for a fine nib. Now we'll do uh, the quick brown fox. Here we go. Now, I do not feel any feedback on this one. I'll we'll try the faster riding. Let me get some switches around. Here we go. Line variation, not going to get any really. And I'm not going to push the nib. And upside down riding. And it starts to fade out with ink. And so really, it's not going to do much of an upside-down riding, so that's on that on that pin, so. Okay, so So, that uh, takes care of the writing, so uh, I'm going to unscrew the cap and screw it back on. Here you have it, cross, century, chrome, and this is the slim version of the pen. So, what do you think about this pen, folks? Honest opinions, good or bad, I like to hear them. Please fill in that comment. I do read all the comments, and I try to get back to all of you as fast as I can. Comments are important. It tells me what you like and what you don't like. Because right now, it can be a guessing game. But... I want to thank everybody for joining me today on Larry's Fountain Pens, and I hope you enjoy, enjoyed the review on the Cross Century uh, Fountain Pen. It's, it's a fine nib, uh, and the uh, the ink again on it is uh, cro uh, Cross Black Ink, which I found very interesting, and I need to buy a bottle, yes. I, I, I really like this uh, black ink. Don't ask me why. But if you have any answers, Feel free to put them in the comment and hit that like button. Let me know that you like the review. Uh, I, I, I really work hard 
when I'm doing the presentations and reviewing fountain pens or any product that I review because it takes a lot of research or a lot of time and a lot of work uh, to do these reviews. It's not something that you just sit down and say, okay, I'm going to do a review, blah, blah, blah. Here it is and give it to them and that's it. No, it takes a whole lot more than that. So uh, when you see reviewers doing a, a review, it's a lot of work they they tend to spend. Uh, some uh, spend a, a whole lot of time doing it. I know on some reviews it may take me one to four weeks to get a review done. It just depends what the presentation is, what all is involved that I want in my review. And then when you have to do the editing, that's more work. What I don't want, what I want what I want more of, what I want less of. Uh, so, and then you have to uh, upload it on the YouTube channel. And then after it's uploaded, the processing comes on. So, uh, it, it takes some time, but thanks for joining me. Thanks for joining Larry's Fountain Pen Army. Thank you. That means a lot to me, all you subscribers. We're almost at 400. And that's really, really cool. I'm digging it. I'm feeling it. I feel the love for fountain pens. As you feel the love for fountain pens. Or we wouldn't be here right now, would we? Nope. So, let's keep the fountain pen alive. Spread the word about Larry's Fountain Pen Army throughout the whole world. Let everybody know that the fountain pen is alive and well. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel... Please do so. That way you can be notified of when I do my next video. I'll see you soon. Be safe. And remember, don't text and drive. I'll talk to you later.